This is video number five in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use our online church at www.uucava.org. In this video, we take a look at how to move around the site, the various types of navigation tools are there for you to use, and also hopefully you'll learn a few shortcut tips that you didn't know about before. So let's have a brief review of some of the basics. First of all, can you see my giant arrow, which is in the top left area of the uh, page we're looking at? I am signed in, and I'm in the My Albums area of the site. And we're starting with this page because it is a great example of how navigation gets refined when you go to an area that has many sub-areas. So first, you know that in general we are in the world of photos on our site because the photos tab is highlighted and standing out from all the other tabs in the site-wide navigation bar. And of course the site-wide navigation bar is the predominant way that people move around the site. But when you click on one of these areas Often you'll find that there is a horizontal line of links just underneath that tab and these links enable you to move around pretty quickly in areas that are related to the general topic of the tab. So in this case we could go to the All Photos page where literally you can see every single individual photo that has been uploaded on the site. Or you can go to all of the individual photos that you have uploaded to the site. Or if you want to go to the albums, you click albums and you get to your My Albums. Site-wide navigation, this bar appears on every single page of our site. So it makes it easy to go to a feature that's on the main page or in the religious education area or in social justice or programs or if you want to jump over to blogs to see what people have been writing about, you can just do it here. You do not have to go back to the main page. In addition to having these main areas visible in the site-wide navigation, you notice that when I roll over many of these, a submenu comes down. You should get to know what's in these menus, especially for my page, photos, religious education for families who need to get to the sign-up form, the program area for adult education descriptions and so forth. When you open up by clicking the, gray air, the black arrow in the gray box, you get links to abbreviated versions of the blog posting process, the video upload process, adding a recording, or adding photos, or starting a discussion. All of the abbreviated forms that you see when you click one of these shortcuts is missing editing tools and also it's missing the choice for privacy control. So if you know that what you're going to put up can be viewable to the setting you put as a default in your My Settings area, then go ahead and post the blog. There's no way to preview the post, so you better be sure of your spelling. And so there are pros and cons of using the shortcut links. If you're going to do something quickly and you need to get it up because you're pressed for time, do it here. But if you realize as you're typing that you really need the full features offered by that particular tool, click More Options and you land on the full form with the privacy controls and with uh, the editing functions. The other thing you can't do when you use a shortcut 
form is there's no adding of tags. Now, of course, you can uh, come back later, right? After you've added your discussion, you can then, once you've started your discussion, you cancel, you can go into discussions, find the discussion you started, click the edit link, and go in and add everything you didn't have time to do when you use the shortcut links. Another major way to move around the site in general is up here in the search input cell. This search here crawls the entire site. So if you want to find and navigate to all the content we have on Heaven, you type in Heaven, and this is all the content we have. There are 12 pages of search returns. This is one page that we're looking at here. And you can see all of the returns. You can navigate to a variety of pages and scroll through them and so forth. If you do not want to see the search returns in aggregate, meaning photos, videos, blogs, sermons on heaven, and you just want to find the videos that are related to heaven, you click on videos in the site-wide navigation bar and you come over here to the search cell that is dedicated to videos. Anytime you see a search cell inside of a page like this, it means it is dedicated to searching within the kind of content that you're in. So let's do this. Now we find all of the videos 